It's a disease that may not be painful, but it can be a source of aggravation for many. In today's Health Matters, we investigate how treatments could provide clues into the cause and cure for scoliosis. It's a condition with many twists and turns, but still no concrete cause or cure. However, doctors are trying to narrow down what they do know about scoliosis. There's several different forms of scoliosis. Three to be exact. There's infantile, juvenile, and a third, which is the most diagnosed. The most common type of scoliosis is called adolescent idiopathic scoliosis typically starts after about the age of 10. Dr. John Churchill is a pediatric orthopedic specialist. He says the degree to which the spine curves determines the treatment. Bracing is for curves that are getting bigger. Unfortunately, bracing does not fix the curve. Otherwise, we'd give everybody a brace. For deeper curves, there's surgery. With modern surgical techniques, we can correct the curve quite well. Uh, in spite of the fact that some of the curves are very large. For example, this is an x-ray of a teenager's spine that at one point was 75 degrees. Now, after surgery, it's practically straight. Researchers hope that successful treatments like this one will help find clues to a cure. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. There are many minimally invasive procedures that can help with scoliosis.